Welcome. In front of me is an LG K50S and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now obviously you can see that the phone in front of me is locked with a pattern and I can unlock it either while providing the correct pattern or using the Google account. Now assuming we don't know either of those, uh, we can bypass it by basically kind of glitching through the setup screen. Now for this we will need another phone, I'm going to be using the Nokia 5.4. Uh, I believe this should work and I think uh, you will need to have a SIM card in it that does have some kind of internet connection. So I just did insert one into it. So from here, there we go. From here, we're gonna go back on the locked device to the page with Wi-Fi connection and disconnect from the Wi-Fi that we're connected to right now. Okay, and then you want to do is enable Wi-Fi right over here. Come on. Hello. There we go. That wasn't necessarily a laggy. Okay, so once you enable it right here, it should show up on your phone. There we go. Now I already did put in a password for it, so that's why it's automatically connecting to it. But basically what you want to do now is click on next while also turning it off at the same time. So like so, let's try that again, we enable it, and there we go, and again disable and press next, I think I did it too slow, now I'm gonna repeat this several times till basically it goes further. Now this actually did something weird uh, with the try another network. This is different looking uh, network connection than it is uh, normally. I'm gonna see if this can work. Nope, that didn't work, so let's go back. Okay, there we go, that's the normal one on here. And that's basically what we needed to do. So as you can see, it took me several tries to actually get through this. So from here, we're gonna tap on accept and continue. And here what you wanna do is set up a screen lock. Now, I don't know if you paid attention to it, uh, but one of the verifications was a pattern or well, it was to pattern or using the uh, Google account. So I'm gonna set it up to be something completely different than pattern. Uh, let's make it into a pin instead. Now secure startup, no thanks, I don't want a secure startup. So in here we're gonna put in a pin for it. 
I'm gonna make it one, two, three, four, tap on next, one, two, three, four, and repeat it and confirm it. And this will set up a pin for it. Now this will in turn now go back to the Wi-Fi connection because honestly we shouldn't be able to even get that far, uh, but for some reason we did. So now we can actually connect to our normal pass uh, well, Wi-Fi, so let me actually put in a password for it. There we go. And again, now we're gonna tap on next. And basically what happened right now is that the previous pattern got overridden with the pin at the moment. And now to verify our account, we can simply put in the pin that we have literally set. So one, two, three, four, and voila. Now, just to be safe, you could finish up the setup, which I do advise you to do. Uh, finish up the setup and then go to the settings and perform a factory data reset through settings, which will ensure that basically all the uh, kind of data that was uh, left over from the old account will be removed at that point. So I'm gonna show you where to find it. I'm not actually gonna go through it because this would just take a necessary amount of time for something that is basically finished almost. But like I said, I do recommend you to perform the factory data reset. Now, if it doesn't want to go as it is right now, I'm going to go back or not. So let's just hold the power key and simply restart the device. Yeah, so once more, let's just breeze through this setup right here.
Okay, so as you can see, we're now on the home screen. And from here, what you wanna do is go into the settings. And from settings, scroll down to system. Restart and reset and choose factory data reset. And this will basically remove all the accounts from the from the phone. Now this will this process will take several minutes, so just be patient. But once it's finished, you should be then back in the setup screen with the device then fully unlocked. So you can then set up your device as however you like. Add Google accounts if you want to, skip it. You don't have to connect to Wi-Fi if you don't want to. So yeah, now I'm not gonna go through this because it would take some time uh, for no reason recording it. And you most certainly know how to probably go through the setup screen once it's been unlocked. So yeah. So that being said, this is how you would bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.